Hi Aquarius, welcome to this Tower Love reading. My name's Sophia, welcome to this community. Apologise, these days it's looking a bit dark. Uh, if you're new, I'm um, dyslexic, which affects my eyes, my words. So I can't have too much of a bright light. Um, even though I'm by the window, it still looks dull. But anyway, it's about listening, right? I'll show you the cards up here if I need to. So the energy I was getting was quite interesting. It was kind of like going inwards so you could be literally um i don't feel it was actual inner work so there's a couple of things i'm picking up with this aquarius you could be on slight depression which makes you go inwards depression is like depressed so this is an inwards feeling i'm feeling you might not know it because i didn't feel it was affecting the neuralistics thought forms it was more of an inwards gut feeling so you know and the gut is connected to the lower sac uh the sacral chakra which is to do with abuse neglect abandonment all, all the horrible 3d stuff 3d is um the sacral is um connected to uh, saturn and uh, you know control and stuff which is, is you're getting pulled down that kind of thing but it's interesting i didn't feel that you felt like it now if this is not you it could be your person because uh, this retreat of going inwards which could be the hermit which means in code <laughs> he's not contacting you he or she so let's go a bit deeper into this reading aquarius let's see what this is about now if you're new hello welcome to this community well well it depends which one you on i have three i put all the videos on three of them I, I've just opened a, a Facebook group, I think a few days ago now. You get extended readings on there. I'll do collective readings. The collective readings are deeper of these individual star signs. So you want to go deep, go to the collective. I'll tell you more what's going on with your person, more what you should do, advice, that kind of thing. So I do a big collective there and I do an extended in this Facebook group. Also, planetary shifts, Mercury retrograde. I'll put a Mercury retrograde reading in there. I do pick a card, oracle cards from your guides, all that kind of good stuff. Everyone who's in mission, basically who does what I do, programs, counselling, readings, tarot, here to help you to be in mission, really, and get with your person, obviously, is in this one group. Because YouTube's so out there, anyone can come on this video and click now. Any old body, just watching tarot and tarot. So this group I collect, uh, created for more of the serious, who seriously want to, you know, get down, deal with their person, get with their person, and deal with why you're here. Uh, it's free to join. Links in description box. So, and I try to put something on there daily. Let's see what's going on. Happiness, happiness, that's a good card, but let's see. Oh, this is about getting your happiness. So you're doing something which is the reverse to it, I feel. Oh, you're doing two 3D stuff. Right, let's jump in, Aquarius, what's going on here? Yeah, you could be doing something and just focus on the money aspect of it, because I'm getting pulled to this Ten of Pentacles. I'm going to do um, a cup. well, I'm doing quite a lot. I've got a list of things I'm going to do in this Facebook group. And one of them is different things of mission. Because I think everyone thinks I have to do as much as me. And I do shitloads, but not necessarily. But I tell you what mission isn't. Something that you do just to get the money. For example, I try to get people to get in. And this is connected to your reading in case I'm talking about mission. I'm not trying to get you into mission, right? But I'm giving you an example. In this, this is like, um, if you, I try to get people to do tower readings, because tower readings, you connect with your guides. You're a light worker, star seed, you're, you get guidance and downloads more so than the average soulmate, regardless if this is soulmate community. You get more guidance than anyone else. You are an empath and on top of sensitive, it's called this, it? heightened um, empathic, empathic abilities. This is connected to the Ten of Pentacles. So say you're doing tarot, but you're just doing it because you think, yeah, I like it, and you're getting the money, right? You're not supposed to be doing that. You're supposed to be doing something that uh, is changing planet Earth, then you get the Pentacles. 
on my Facebook group, right, well, I'll say mine, but I'll say this community, this missions Facebook group, you get far more, right, and I don't charge, you see, but I'm helping more people who are serious. There's something you're doing with pentacles, which you're just like, I want to get paid or da 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 something like that, or you pay something physical with the physical plane. So, happy, yeah, look, the two, first and the last cards I'm pulled to, Aquarius, it's about your happiness, but you're confusing your happiness with the physical of the pentacles. I'm happy if I got money, that's for example. So you could be doing tarot. I'm just saying it could be any job, 3D job, right? But you're like waiting for the money to show up. Trust me, if that was the case, the Facebook group wouldn't be created. It's given me more time, right? More time and I don't have, but then I'm like, um, I'm helping more people. The money will come later, if anything, you know what I mean, something like that. So this is about cutting that out and do it. I don't know what else to say. There's something here, and that could be why I felt a depression, because maybe you're not sure what your mission is, or maybe you're doing something that isn't making you happy with the happiness card, nine of, pent uh, nine of cups, king of swords, two of cups, nine of not nine of cups is known as selfish so you just want the money now i'm helping it people with tarot i'm helping people with reiki i'm healing and i'm helping people with selling chakras to put on their third eye i'm like well, first of all none of that stuff does jack shit that is you just focusing on the money right because if you go with that's the truth so your person's over there and it's interesting because there's something which inside that is hidden within your person that is mirroring back to you about you know there's something i'm getting you know some truths about your person is it something to do with mental because of its um i'm just saying mental and logic um and it's to, yeah it's something to do with in something i don't know i'm just getting that right something to do with inside about your person and there's something about you that is secret locked within you that you need to work on as well I just get in that and like I said it's to do with the ten of pentacles it's how you're doing it you could be depressed because you're not getting money depressing the job you're getting even though you're getting money it's something like that and you're not understanding even if you're like for example I have a couple of people in mission who are doing mission and sometimes they're like oh, I don't know what to do I'm not really feeling it at the moment and what I would say to them is what we do is change your life Stop focusing on the tarot. If I get someone serious in this reading, Aquarius, say you're listening and you're like, wow, Sophia, uh, I'm really resonating. I want to help planet Earth and I want to get my person, right? And you book a reading and then I say, okay, now this is what I suggest you do. Work through the programs, release that negativity, get into a high and, higher state, Right? then in that higher state you connect with your person then it comes towards you it's a law of attraction now there's loads of negativity right say you do that that's what i focus on changing those little lives because not all of you are going to do it if it was i wouldn't even be able to open a facebook group because i'll be inundated normally i am right so this is about i focus on i do tarot is the start and then the Facebook group and all the other stuff is to change your life. I literally can get you and I can guarantee get you your person, change your career to you to do something like me. Get with your person and to change someone's life, right? That's the end goal. Why I'm saying that is because maybe you just need advice with that someone. You know, you choose a different loving option of what to do with your Ten of Pentacles. But if you're not serving anyone, if it's just a tower reading and you're just getting money, you're, it's, not, it's your choice. You're choosing money over what you're supposed to be choosing, your love. When you do it like how I do it, money comes. I've never opened the Facebook group, which I'm talking about, and you don't have to join. It's up to you. I didn't wake up and think, you know what, what can I do to get more money out of people? I didn't. I woke up and I thought I'd be nudged to make it more of a community because YouTube's too open. 
so then I thought a Facebook group and then I thought, yeah, I'm just going to do it. And then, then I, I, I sent it to mission people and told them I'm going to do it to get their advice and whatnot. And then I opened the Facebook group. My point is money didn't come into it, right? Later, who knows? I might charge. Later, it might close because I might be too busy. I don't know. But that's what I was guided to do. Nothing to do with the Ten of Pentacles. It's your choice what you choose. But you know you have a special connection. You don't have that. Soulmates don't have that connection you've got with your person. So this is about being selfish or happy for your happiness, which is money. But it's, it's then, right, that's you trying to control it in a way of like, well, I'm spiritual. I'm doing tarot. I'm doing Reiki. I'm doing that because it's cups. But you want the ten of cups. This is, like I said, you, you're still unfulfilled fulfillment right is ten of cups this is just happiness this is you trying to control your world of like if i'm spiritual then i'm going to get my person because i feel a connection that's different right but your person is over there still controlling their empire their world and being selfishly doing that over there that's what this is about this is a wake-up call to your truth your person could have cut you off on being cold or cutting to you, right? Because I have to be cold and cutting to you about, listen, what you're doing. Can you hand on your heart and guarantee whatever you're doing changes someone's life? Because that's it. Humanitarian changes people's lives. Activist changes people's lives. This doesn't change your, anyone's life. I try to change your life, and I say it by, you can't just do it from tower reading, you can't just do it from doing my programs, hopefully you could, but generally you need counselling, I've had counselling, and look how hard caught I am, I give you the truth of what you need to wake up, right, and the truth is, you need to wake up, judgement, right, and that needs strength, because judgement is waking up the masculines, that means waking up the masculine within you, to stop doing easy work, and stop thinking about it selfishly about the money. I didn't even think, to be honest, when i done my Facebook group, it's going to be even more work. It didn't come into my mind. I knew it was guided, whatever you want to call it, upstairs. And I just opened it. That's all I did. And then I post on there daily. And it's been brilliant. I can do far more than what I could just do videos, videos on YouTube. I can um, text and I can send images. I can do far more right so it benefits me i don't charge for it in fact i can give free programs on there i'm not going to give it on youtube for someone who could just pass on his channel and get a free thing from me someone who, who who's serious about making changes on this world would collaborate with the group world as within so without so if as within you're only focused about the ten of pentacles right when your person is the ten of cups, that's all you're going to do is just get money or you ain't getting money. So it's, it's one or the other. That's how this world unfortunately is. Physical world, 3D world, the, 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 the karma is it affects your money. That's how it goes because it's the physical plane. So it's about your choice of your world. Are you delusional about your world, your inner world, without of what you're here to do in this world, the 3D world? Because if you think you're down here with a special connection just to get your money, where's your person? Person ain't here. Your person cut you off to wake you up. You're choosing the wrong love, two of cups. When you master what is within, when you totally love yourself, work on yourself, do all the work, then love comes towards you. Love comes towards you. Like I said, a Facebook group, right, it's nothing to do with money. But then I realized, wow, I can do so much more on here, right? And then I'm loving it more. That's what. And then they might buy a reading of me or whatever, right? That's how it works. This is what you need to understand. And there's an element, like I said, of darkness from you trying to control you. It's like, you, yeah, you're, I don't know. You're either doing work that you, you're either doing work that you just want to get money from 
and you're thinking it's spiritual or you're not working. It's one or the other here. And this pattern needs to change. Well, it's your choice to change it. Two of Cups is your choice. But as within, so without. If you're unhappy within, then you don't get anything without. Money doesn't buy you happiness. I promise you, you have loads of money from your person, right? They might hint to you to give them some of the money, but I promise you they won't move in and get married to you. They just probably ask you for all the money you got if you're getting money. It's for you to do the inner work. I promise you, you have loads of money. It doesn't make the, 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 the mission to get your person or in mission any quicker. So you better find out what you love. I'm going to be doing something in a Facebook group about mission so people know what it is. And like I was saying, the first thing to know is um, do you really love it? Or secondly, do you do it to, uh, is it changing anyone's lives? Literally. Because people are, oh, I'm a spiritual, I'm very spiritual. Oh, what do you do? I do Reiki and I sell some crystals in a shop. How's that changing anyone's life? You're just doing Reiki and crystals. It's not doing anything. Right? That's what you need to ask yourself. Are you changing anyone's life with what you're doing? Reiki healing doesn't do fuck all. Right? If you have full of negative, how does someone who is full of negative themselves reckon that they can transmute um, heightened energy to heal you when they are negative? They're not, they don't even know what um, quantum physics is and the laws of this planet to transmute the energy, but they cast themselves as healers. Are you doing something like this that you don't know what you're doing? Or, like I said, you're in, slipping into a depression. It's going deeper into it. Something about control here. Emperor. emperor. And there's something about your person mirrors back to you about some kind of control. So maybe they're quite controlling or you feel they're getting controlled or something like that with this card here. Anyway... So, like I said, you can jump into the Facebook group because I, uh, I, you know, give loads of free stuff up there. Or if you're, this is you and you resonate with it and you want to know where to go and what to work on, just book me for an image reading. I do counselling as well. I keep forgetting I do counselling and that might stop actually. But yeah, and I might start tower reading. But I hope you enjoyed this reading, Aquarius. Speak to you later.